This is a brief demonstration of the Service Manager Spy, just to show you what it does after it's installed. Uh, the other video shows you how to install, and it takes about roughly 10 minutes, so this would be just a short uh, demonstration video of what it looks like after it's uh, up and running. So you're going to have a, the first thing you're probably notice is you're going to have a new services under here, and that'll be under Applications, and ITSM, and service manager and so this is your main tree for managing the events that come in and when you do receive an event from the node we'll be using is this one libsm1 this little tree will light up just like any other service tree that is visible in omw the more complex area is probably the all engines part in this list each This manages each servlet that is configured within Service Manager. So the first thing we'll do is we'll kill some SMEXE processes just to give you an idea. Obviously this could be a listener, a general engine, a load balancer. From the services, from, from this menu you can't really tell what it is, but we'll just pretend you have a really terrible Service Manager administrator and he just starts wiping stuff out. So now that we killed our uh, two SMEXE processes, we just wait for the polling cycle to take place. Usually these show up in, uh, well, depending on what you have it configured as, usually in a couple of minutes. So obviously with the killing those two, we killed 13081 and 13082. Those are uh, our two dead processes. So we know exactly which engines that have been affected by that action. Um, Obviously, to get those back, we'd have to restart Service Manager, but your administrators know immediately when there's a problem. Uh, you know, potentially, if you lost two ports like this and you had 50 hanging off each port, that could be 100 users that just were pulled offline and you wouldn't know about if you weren't running the spy. The other example we do is uh, since we have a database configured, uh, we're just going to kill the connection to the database. database is a virtual machine we're just going to kill the, the network connection to it when that network connection dies you know life gets pretty bad for the service manager server but if you did want to see the events you do have here we could see active messages and this shows that you got two down these are your two ports 13081 and 13082 are impacted all right, so polling cycle took place, and we're showing a dead database connection. You have a problem with your database, or uh, which is usually on another server with Service Manager. You're going to need to know about that because usually all the engines are going to be impacted by this. But this one shows you exactly where your problems occurring. Um, and if you look at the the service tree again you're going to see that you know you're, you have a database connection problem and you also have engine 13082 down so obviously there's a lot more alerts that come out of this thing um, but th those are probably the two easiest examples if you have memory problems other types of connection problems there, there's probably you know there's hundreds of alerts that could possibly come out of this um, but the idea is it tells you exactly what's wrong and it gives you it in a visual format that can be um, ported into OMI or well, any site scope uh, any tool that will take the the service tree so I hope this uh, gives you a brief idea of what the Service Manager Spy does and uh, if you have any questions please email us. Uh, the contact information is in the description of this video. Thank you.